Hi everyone, welcome to this week's episode of FNL Reload. So today I'm asking you, what are you tolerating? Because sometimes I tolerate too much of the enemy's chatter. Sometimes I'm not even aware of what I'm allowing go on in my head and I start getting down and the cycle is really just like a vicious cycle. The more negative things you think, the further you go down the cycle. But then I suddenly become aware of what I've been thinking about. And yes, I should be aware all the time what I'm thinking about, but I'm not sometimes. And sometimes I tolerate too much of what he's dishing out. Sometimes I give too much power to the enemy. And that's not the enemy's fault. That's my fault. So he only has what power we give him. If we believe all the lies he tells us and we don't line it up against God's word, then we're giving him more ability to influence our lives. And that is the exact opposite of what we should do. So if you have thoughts of wondering if people are trustworthy, fear of being yourself, fear of being open and honest, fear of controlling it or confronting an issue, thoughts that maybe you aren't good enough, thoughts that you're not perfect enough, thoughts wondering what value you bring, um, or feelings that God doesn't hear you or doesn't love you or he doesn't answer your prayers or any of those doubts about your destiny or what God has planned for you or things like that. If you're having those thoughts and feelings on a regular basement, basement and, or regular basis and it's like a bombardment and things just keep getting worse and getting worse and getting worse, then you are tolerating what you should not be tolerating. When we tolerate those thoughts and those false feelings, and I said false feelings, because they are false, because God wouldn't say those things about us. God does hear our prayers. God does answer our prayers. God does find us valuable. God wants us to um, confront an issue if people are in sin. God wants us to do these things. So if we have fears and, and things that are holding us back around that, we're listening to the wrong things. It's just plain and simple. We're listening to the wrong things. So uh, those false feelings are one way we allow the enemy to be stronger in our lives than he ever needs to be or ever should be. He should never be a big thing in our life. He should be a non-issue. God is bigger than the enemy. What God has for you in your life is bigger than what the enemy has for you. He's already defeated the enemy. We're, we're not fighting from a position of whether or not we're going to win. We are fighting from a position of victory. We've already won because God's on our side. It's called the battlefield of mind. Joyce Meyer called it that. Battlefield of, a, of the mind on purpose for a reason. Because it is a battlefield. We have to be aware of what our thoughts are. And he wants us to think, the enemy, that he's more powerful than he is. But that's just us allowing it. That's us tolerating it. So what are you tolerating going on in your mind that you should not be tolerating? You need to take a queen, a clean, quick checklist of what's going on in there and figure out what you are tolerating that you shouldn't be. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians um, 10, 5, we destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. Every thought captive. I've shared this before, Philippians 4, 8. The Bible says to think on things that are true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and worthy of praise. So if we're not thinking on those things, we are tolerating what we should not be tolerating. Romans 12, 12 says, do not be overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. So if you're having uh, doubts about people or, or you're questioning whether you can trust people, do something to bless them. Do the exact opposite of what the enemy is causing you to think. That is ending what you've been tolerating. So what thoughts are you tolerating? What attitudes are you tolerating? What beliefs are you accepting and tolerating without comparing them to what God says? Because we all do it. We're all human. We all do things. We're like, why am I doing that? That doesn't make no sense. So I'm encouraging you to really compare every thought you have to what the Bible says, especially if they're negative thoughts, especially if they're negative thoughts, especially if they're negative thoughts, because God doesn't tell you things to get you down. He just doesn't. And remember this. This is another little tidbit. The more we praise, the more we put our eyes and focus on God, the enemy is less and less powerful in our life because we're causing our brain to think about something other than ourself, which is always a good thing. So do some praise and worship, some real praise and worship every day and direct your thoughts in the right way and stop tolerating what you shouldn't. Time to say enough. So... That's it for this episode of FNL Reload. Um, join us again next week. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook and YouTube and fr at Friday Night Light and Instagram at The Friday Light. Always on our website as well at FridayNightLight.us. We'll see you next week. Have a great day.